Guys, so the first thing we're gonna want to do is uh, build a green screen or a blue screen. So what I did was I bought a sheet of plywood, eight feet, and uh, I cut it into a bunch of two by fours, and I cut one of those two by fours in half to make it two by two, and uh, painted it green. I flipped it around and painted the other side blue. Now those work really good. You can also use um, sheets. Right here I got a green sheet. I bought a really big piece. It covers uh, a lot of ground. Those work really good. Uh, sometimes the wrinkles show up and create different shades. Um, so mine's a little wrinkly. You're going to want to iron that out and get it smooth. Uh, that works really great. Um, so if you got a green figure and a green background, may have problems with the uh, the way you're keying out uh, your green screen. So you can also use red if you want. And there's a way, like, let's say you got a figure like Martian Manhunter. He's green, he's got red on his cape, and the blue background, and I'm sorry, the blue, he's got a blue cape, red accessories, and a green body. So that's your that's all three of your backgrounds right so you don't want to key out any part of your figure so in that case you'd have to select each photo and I'll show you guys how to do that so as you can see here the green screen looks pretty good um, but you do see those lines in the corners so like let's say you're losing using key light those different shades are going to show up. I was talking about it earlier with the uh, wrinkles. So lately I've been using blue and white for a background because it doesn't leave a green reflection or glow. Here we go, we got to set up our shadow. As you can see the shadow behind the figures are moving. I got three lights going right now. Um, you just, you don't want the shadow to be casting behind the figure where you're taking the photo. It's gonna confuse the algorithm of your uh, selection tool. Um, and it's gonna kind of bleed over and, and you're not, it's gonna make it harder. So to make things easier, really light up the area. Don't forget to get a good sturdy tripod when uh, doing stop motion. headphones, iPhone headphones, and just slowly, slowly move your figure and capture the animation. So this is going to be used for uh, sort of like a Marvel intro, um, and I'll show you guys later how that's going to be done. So anyways, here we are, we're going to take some pictures. But after, after you're done, you want to review your animation to make sure it's going to be acceptable before moving on to the next step. Sorry about the focus here. See? So I've chosen to uh, animate the shield. So now our photos are done, here we are in uh, Photoshop. So I have selected uh, the selection tool. You're going to want to hit the plus. And um, so there's an out there's like an algorithm and it, and it recognizes uh, the different colors. And you 
you're going to want to work with this as much as you can. Uh, the better your lighting is and the, the more different your background is, it's going to make things easier, right? So here, you can see Captain America's blue with the blue background and it just, it, it bled right over you see, so you hit the minus tool. If the program starts to recognize where you've, uh, where you have gone and haven't, and it, it, it works with you really well. So this here is the hardest part. Is you see how that holster has got a little spot there? Now, if you do something like this, you gotta do it the same every photo. So pay attention here. After we refine edge, we're gonna do a little technique that should help. Um, but any any difference in your photos is really gonna show up as like a fuzzy wave around your figure. So hit refine edge once we're done. Once you uh, got it all selected. We're going to shift edge a little bit minus, just a little bit, just to take away the background. You know, I, I like to keep it around minus 3 to minus 5. You know, you can kind of play around with it. Also, uh, you don't want to do a smooth and a feather. Smooth it just a little bit, feather just a little bit, just to make it look a little cleaner. You know, you don't want to pixel And you want to remember these settings down here at the bottom. Uh, so that you can keep it the same every photo. That's very important. Just trying to get every photo to match because it's going to play in one sequence, right? Contaminate colors. I usually add that. Uh, there you go, hit remember settings. Okay. And now we're gonna save so you can hit control S. And now we're in the main folder where the pictures were saved. We're gonna want to create a new folder inside that folder. Now save as a photo as a Photoshop uh, file and uh, don't change the name. Alright, now we're going to move on to the next photo here. Now Now you can see I brought the mouse back. I was having some problems with my uh, screen capture. So as you can see, it's just it's just like painting, um, but the, the program works with you quite a bit. Sometimes if it's done perfectly, you can just click once and it capture most of the figure but I find there's always it's always better to go over it and make sure there's no bleeding from the background onto the figure or, or you don't want to select the background or miss any of the figure these things are gonna really show up. See again we're doing the holster here. Now you see I got this eraser tool after you click refine edge you can go around any spots you missed and look right here see and now you want to do that on that holster every time because it's gonna the program will make it look as close as it can get like if you use an eraser tool or a selection tool you just can't get it the same so I suggest um, doing a rough outline of those little gaps, those little hard areas like that, like the holster, do a rough selection and then use that eraser tool to kind of, uh, to automatically do it for you. Here we go, we're just selecting, selecting as you can see it's doing a pretty good job of recognizing where, what is Captain America and what is Like another thing, like why I'm using the blue and the white for Captain America because he's, if you look, he's pretty much blue and white, and it, it's just not bleeding as much on him. Like if it were a green background I was using here, you'd see all over Captain America there'd be a glow and reflection and lighting of green on on the figure. And basically, when that happens, you gotta. I'd 
adjust the color correction of every photo. Um, you can probably put them in a sequence and batch edit that later as a video in After Effects, but I find uh, editing each photo gives you a lot of uh, different options to go with. guys don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment um, if there's anything I missed tune in next week I'm gonna show you guys how to do keying with, um, with After Effects um, using Keylight um, I don't know how to use any other programs so you may be able to follow along but I would suggest getting uh, Adobe Master Collection really well you got Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere and After Effects and you can uh, edit with all three and um, all three programs work together really well so that's why I recommend that. Next week I'm going to show you guys how to create a background from scratch using Keylight. Um, so yeah uh, like, and like and subscribe and check the link in the description. Uh, for action figures, statues, collectibles, and more.